Good morning, everybody. I'm reading Luke 11, verse 5 onwards. Then he said to them, suppose one of you has a friend and goes to him at midnight and says, friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine who is on a journey has just come to visit me and I have nothing to serve him. And from inside he answers, do not bother me. The door has already been shut and my children and I are in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything just because he is his friend, Yet because of his persistence and boldness, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask and keep on asking, and it will be given to you. Seek and keep on seeking, and you will find. Knock and keep on knocking, and the door will be open to you. Amen. There is no doubt that Jesus has taught us to be determined and persistent in prayer. But at the same time, in Matthew 6, 7, Jesus tells us, When you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do. Mere repeating words over and over in our prayers will not achieve anything. How then are we to persist in prayer? In the parable, the parable we read, we, we can see, firstly, the man who came to his friend for bread was not primarily coming for himself, but to meet the needs of someone else. Secondly, he was clear in what he requested, and his request was a plea from the heart. Thirdly, he did not give up at the first sign of difficulty. Why not? He knew his friend's character. He trusted and believed he was a faithful friend who could be counted on to help in a time of need. Fourthly, he persisted until he got his answer. How did he do that? I think we can be certain he didn't stand at the door repeating over and over, friend, lend me three loaves, friend, lend me three loaves. Rather, he just stayed there at the door, perhaps knocking on it every so often and calling out my friend. And eventually he got his loaves. In his wisdom, God often chooses not to answer prayer straight away. He is expecting us to keep on asking, keep on seeking, keep on knocking until either our motives are sifted and we realize we are praying for the wrong thing or we get an answer one way or another. What a wonderful and tremendous blessing it is when that happens. Amen. Have a great day.